Hello, hello, Scorpios. Today we're doing a reading about what's coming up in May 2020 for you. So in a little less than two weeks. Um, the first card I'm going to pull out is a card that will uh, resume or represent the current energy for you right now in April till the end of April what has been like the two of hurt which is the two of pentacles so it's an energy of finding balance which is nice uh, this deck is new from today. It was a gift from my nine-year-old daughter for my birthday, which is next month. It's in May, my birthday, but she picked that, that deck for me. I ordered it uh, about a month ago to make sure I was going to receive it for my birthday, and it came up early. I was supposed to receive it like the 8th of May, and I got it today. But I don't know, are we the 17th or 18th of April? So it was a surprise. It's not something I was expecting today. And she allowed me to use it and to not have to wrap it up because she doesn't like wrapping up <laughs> presents. But I think she just wanted to open it and look at the, the images of the kitties because she's nine and she's in love with all animals and insects. If I could have found something with dragons, she would have been even happier. But cats are super cute and these cards are so colorful. And um, yeah, it's super cute. So, so I'm pulling uh, the first row here is going to be the first uh, two weeks of May. Or the first half of May till mid May or so. And now with the Tarot Mucha, which is a Spanish deck, um, we're gonna see what's coming out in the second half of the month because there's um, um, energy switch flipping or switching in. Um, mid-May so we're gonna see how the second half of May is looking out for you I'm reading everything up right today okay I'll, I'm just gonna pull one more There we go. So it looks like your current energy is to find back your balance and your peace and um, maybe you're juggling a lot of things uh, at the same time. Maybe you have a lot to think about or worry about or maybe you just found the balance in your life because this woman here looks pretty peaceful and in control. So that's the current energy. And May. Oh, there's so much nice stuff. Okay, so you have the full strength, the page of wands, and the ace of cups. So there is a energy of feeling free, uh, youthful, joyful, happy, carefree, uh, innocent. Like all that nice, flirty kind of energy, you will feel great. This is a very um, nice energy here coming up uh, in the first two weeks of um, wanting to jump in, to make changes, to try new things, that kind of stuff. And you will find the strength to do that. Look how proud this cat is. 
to have caught that baby mouse here, that little mouse. He caught it and he's screaming, yay, I got it, I got it, I'm strong enough, I made it. So, <laughs> that's the energy of the strength card in this deck. Usually it's a lion, but this little cat is super happy. And look, there's also the symbol of infinity here on his necklace. Okay, it's like there's a new cycle coming, starting for you and me. With the full, which is the zero, the number of a new beginning. It's a new beginning. May is a new beginning for you. <laughs> Definitely. It's like everything is falling back in place and you're feeling strong again. Uh, falling back on your two feet. And there is that offer of love coming in. There's the page of wands coming in. That is going to be uh, passionate and flirty and uh, something very fun happening. And it might, it might surprise you a little bit when it comes in. Because um, you might be happy with where you're at and how you feel. But there's that person coming in. My, maybe you have somebody in mind. Maybe you don't. You don't. Maybe it's going to be a surprise. But there's a person coming in that will offer you uh, the unconditional love, the infinite love. Ace of Cups and the traditional tarot. It's a cup that is constantly refilled by the ocean. It's endless. It's always there. And this is followed... This is at the mid of, uh, in the middle of the month. So by the middle of the month, you have, sorry, um, you have that uh, love coming in with the King of Cups showing up with an offer. And this is followed right away by the uh, Six of Cups which is the happy family, it's joyful, it's fulfillment, um, definitely lots of love coming in your way, uh, and it, it feels like it's going to be, um, just a second, uh, it looks like my light has turned off, I don't know how to turn it back on, but it's okay. I will just do that to make sure you see everything. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, you're, you're going to get that uh, uh, love coming in. Um, but it looks like you're going to want to take a step back of it it might happen too quickly for you you might not be ready for it uh, because you have the chariot right after so the um he's coming in uh, with force uh, it's it's very uh, fast and strong energy and y you can uh, you're going to be like stuck in between uh, that fast energy here and 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 the, the option of uh, fulfillment and the happy family and you're going to doubt. You might doubt that this is possible. So it might be scary for you. That's what I mean. All what's going to happen it might look too good to be true. And we have here the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card that uh, can go both ways. Uh, it might be because you will feel that something is going to come block your joy here. Like something. And it's also seen as a third party situation you will you will know about that maybe it's too far ahead but when this moment moment comes you will know 
that something is coming like to maybe to yeah slow down things um the other way to see this card is friendship uh like this it's friendship it's partying it's uh, not partying but celebrating um that love so it can go both ways i'm just gonna ask a few cards to clarify this part here because both options uh, are good that they, they, they and it really it, just take what resonates with you because you will know why you need to take it a little step back and when, when you get here and now that you have that reading you'll see it coming oh there's two yeah okay okay yes you can see everything <coughs> sorry um what I'm seeing here is that here you will find your balance and and you're gonna have someone coming back to your life or coming into your life offering you um, everything you have always dreamed of but now that you're back in balance in yourself you might wonder if you don't want to maybe you feel strong enough to be alone maybe you need and want to have some time alone as this is a single card but it, it's a single that stands on her own is proud and happy and fulfilled alone she's a, she's independent and happy to be the way she is she's accepting of who she is she loves herself and maybe that's what you will like to be before you get into a relationship and you're going to contemplate your options before you let that new person come in but there's somebody coming in in your life might be someone you have in mind might be someone someone new <coughs> maybe you have to choose between two persons but these two cards are very very strong the king of cups and uh the six of cups this is happiness and fulfillment and love this man is this person doesn't need to be a man but this person truly loves you Okay, tell me about a love situation for our Scorpios. Yes, Scorpios. Flirt. Extend your light, light-hearted energy to others. Maybe you're gonna feel like. You still want to explore before you settle down and, and, and be that woman here. Maybe you're not quite ready <coughs> yeah, to settle down or to get into a too serious relationship. Just take what resonates, okay? 
but there is uh, someone, definitely someone coming in with uh, lots of love, reconciliation. Someone from your past is re returning to your life. Yeah, so maybe that person here is coming back to your life. Sorry, I just kicked my tripod. Oh my god, okay. And this is going to be scary if it's from your past. Um, and you've been with that person. Maybe you don't have that trust if that if that person hurts you maybe you don't know if you can trust that person but he's coming in strong and determined to offer you um like the perfect life the perfect happiness the reconciliation <coughs> this is a soulmate card by the way and we gotta hear somebody from your past is coming back so maybe this is the celebration. And this is the reconciliation with the chariot. He's coming in strong. Because that person coming back to your life has no doubt. You, you will doubt of what you want. And if you want that person back in your life. But he he has no doubts. Which is good, right? The power is in your end. So what uh, do your angels and guides and spirit and the universe, call it the way you want, have for advice for you? What do they want you to know? For May 2020, Scorpios, what do they want you to know? Okay, well, that's a good advice. Okay, this is a French card, so I'll, I'll uh, translate it. There's a lot of healing that will occur, uh, occur, happen occur here, okay? Here we have the symbol of healing. It's, uh, the title is, uh, Nettoyez-vous de la peur. Clean yourself from your fear. Um, ask Archangel Michael and Raphael to clean all energies of fear in you, around you, and in you, in your actual situation and for all the person's concerns. That's what this is. The fear of being hurt again. So it's asking you to clean yourself from that. Free yourself from all your fears to be able to allow this love that's like showing up furiously in your life. It's like he really, really wants to be back in your life, that person. But take it. Don't go too fast. Don't rush it. You got the flirt card and this is what this is. The, um, the page of wands. It's flirting. It's taking it light. It's playful. Okay? I have a feeling that you just, you're going to get back up from that heartbreak and boom, he's back. You're not expecting it. And you thought you were okay and he's coming back and now he knows what he wants finally. And uh, you will doubt that you want this back. But don't doubt of his feelings. And this is a soulmate connection, so... We have it twice, so so it is an energy uh, energy bound that is very difficult to break between the two of you. The the yeah, you're very attached to each other, 
energe energetically speaking. Yep, that's it, Scorpios. This is uh, your forecast for May. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, you can also, you can like, <laughs> obviously. But you can also um, join the new Facebook group that I opened, I think, last week. Uh, the link for that is in the uh, description box. It's the first link in there. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Thank you so much.